So yeah, about movies. Yeah, let's did talk you, about movies. Yeah, what was the last one that you actually watched? Uh, or do uh, you watch movies? Well, I mean, other than Smurfs in the City, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I'm really into watching these like um, really intense episodic TV series like uh, that Ozark. I watched the second season just recently, finished right. it up, right. and then um, quite good. I enjoyed it. The ending was weird. But anyway, um, and then I just started to watch um, on HBO Nordic. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I got a free month sign up for that. But yeah, um, yeah. Chernobyl is really great there. I haven't seen that, yeah, but uh, great what is it? True Detectives. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm uh, episode three, season one. S- season one. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and uh, yeah, man, the that is like pretty intense. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the best season, but I, I wouldn't say the other ones are bad. Although mm. season two gets a lot of hate, but I, I like it. But yeah. the season one is like phenomenal. It gets better and better all the time. But you know, the pretty violent series, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, and a lot of like inferred violence. Yeah, you know yeah. that that it's like leaves you feeling that uneasy feeling. The atmosphere mm. is like then and, and Woody Harrelson and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, of course, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Mm. That's who it is. Yeah, mm. man, are they good or what? Yeah, like, they're, holy great. Crap, they're great. Crap, you yeah. know. And uh, I think Woody Harrelson is kind of like Woody Harrelson is. And this is a tangent, but uh, but Matthew McConaughey, he's like, he nailed that character so well. Yeah. That uh, I mean, and the makeup artist, uh, the whole the whole show so far. I'm only three in, or maybe two and a half. I can't remember now, but uh, really intense. Uh, uncomfortable, mm. you know, violent. Yeah. Um, Definitely not for kids. No? Yeah. No. But you know what movies were for kids? Yeah, what? Uh, Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. And Gremlins. PG? They, yeah, they got PG rating back in the 80s. Wow. I guess. I mean, I would. I think I saw them as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Gremlins for sure. Yeah, so did we all. But like, I'm just saying that compared to these days, uh, those movies actually were PG rated and I guess uh, today, well, the Temple of Doom, they rip out heart there, right? Yeah. And it um, burns on shibai, the... Om Nam Shibai, Om Nam Yeah, Kalima uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Indy kills a bunch of people and... Yeah, whatever. Uh, but they were PG rated because there weren't any rating. And I'm, of course, talking about the American rating mm. system, which yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, between PG and R rating, there wasn't any rating between that. And I think in the 80s, the... There was a pressure because movie movies became more violent mm. to to you know uh, rate these movies harder and uh, of course the industry leaders uh, director part Steven Spielberg who actually I think he produced Kremlins too yeah I yeah. think so yeah. yeah yeah Joe Dante directed it yeah and 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 the Spielberg co produced it but yeah. yeah he he initiated or was one of the leaders who got this PG-13 to be, you know, hmm. to be formed. Yeah. So there would be now a new step between PG and, and R rating. So I guess that's the money thing. Mm. Once the movie gets rated R, or at least it used to be, mm. it loses money on the box office. But that wasn't the case with the Deadpool. No, yeah. In Canada, we have uh, rated like a PG and 14A. So it's like an yeah. adult company with the... 14 year old starts there and then there's an 18a as well and then goes to r but um and then adult but uh yeah yeah but deadpool yeah deadpool got the uh, flashing r rating there <coughs> for sure and i think it helped that movie quite a bit yeah it did and 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 i guess it proved to the industry that r rating r rated movies can can turn into money yeah. but now that you mentioned the canada's rating system did you did you know that we used to have this uh, video lucky the uh, law for uh, you know pre-inspection for uh, movies and media products in Finland and and still has but like uh, starting from the 80s and the end of the 90s the hard R which would be um, forbidden under the 18 year old people yeah uh, couldn't be shown on the home video format only in movies really and even then some movies were banned totally like texas chainsaw massacre was banned until the 19 uh 
99 or no 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 it's 2000 and something really yeah all the way to there yeah because the the law for video inspection changed then and but and you guys bootlegged the shit out of those yeah things, yeah yeah we you? me and my friend uh, the nest guy yeah Tolonen, we used to mail order these movies like dawn of the dead evil dead reanimators and yeah. bunch of stuff from uh you know mail order paper all right some guy at kuopio Uh, was copying them and sending us videotapes, <laughs> like some really shitty copies, but, yeah, but holy, that was golden, golden yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, they were banning movies then, and, and even the Evil Dead, I yeah. believe. Kauhun riivaamat in Finnish in the 80s, it was cut like something like 16 or 16 minutes. And Is that what it was called? Yeah, Kauhun riivaamat. What is that? Uh, plagued straight? by fear. Plagued by fear, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so it was cut like something like 16 minutes. One of my f- all-time favorite movies. Yeah, as, me too. Yeah. So, and I think I might be wrong here, and I'm too lazy to, you know, not going to internet and mm. and search it. But I th- I believe that uh, Renny Harlin was working on the, whatever the office was then, and he was responsible of cutting that movie. At least at the bus. Really? Amongst the cinephiles. Hmm. I might have to check it after this one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know Rennie Harley yeah, Die Hard 2 and yeah. Cliff, he went Cliffhanger. Th- yeah, he went then to the you know United States and Cliffhanger Die Hard 2 and yeah. Nightmare on Street and over fucking insanely violent movies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, that, he, that's what happens. Like uh, the funny thing in, in Finland. But it was his job, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean in, in Finland you have like even though that that hardcore censorship at that time anyway. Now it's like the opposite way around. Yeah. You know, it's like good luck censoring anything. You know, I yeah, was listening right. to the 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 radio at the in the middle of the day and the you know of course they they say it in english so i guess they get away with it but something like uh, they're saying in finnish that they opened a a box of fotser christmas calendar you know whatever you know you open the day thing and it was and the guy said well what was it and he's like it's a fotser chocolate like chocolate candy What a fucking surprise. And I'm like thing <laughs> middle of the day on the radio, you know, public radio. And I've seen in commercials in Finland public uh like public commercials middle of the day. Fox. Fox. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's a great commercial, you know, whatever and it's, uh somebody says give me the fucking money. And I was like, <laughs> did they what the fuck? I, I had to watch it like I had to wait for it to come on again to see if it was So really they don't good. conceal what they want from the consumers as long as <laughs> <laughs> It's Give me your fucking money. <laughs> exactly. They just go straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, today we're I guess we we're wanting to talk about violence in movies and I yeah, guess Yeah, in, in the media mm. as in general. Yeah, uh, video games and yeah. and even comic books and books, you know, for that matter. I have a theory. Yeah. And I guess this could be proven pretty easily to be false or true, but I have a theory that almost every program Starting from the, you know, adults. From there to kids' movies, you know, uh, they consist violence mm. in one way or another. You know, like um, uh, beatings or even deaths or, you know, the what was the children's cartoon, the old cartoon when the, the what the fuck was it? The, the character you runs away and the coyote is chasing his ass. Uh, Willow? Are you talking about Willow? Willow. That- You don't know Willow, Ron Howard. Forget no, it. I, I'm not talking about that movie. I know yeah, Willow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wal Kilmer and shit. And yeah, it's a great movie. <laughs> But I'm talking about the children's uh, TV show. Is it that? Um, uh, you know the Fang. The... No, the coyote was chasing him, and he was fucking blown to pieces and killed. Oh, and the you're talking about uh, Road Looney Runner. Tunes. Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. Coyote. Tunes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wiley Coyote and yeah. and, Ro- and the Road Runner. And he got yeah. fucked yeah. all the time. Well. Yeah, not <laughs> like, that kind though. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm just making a point here. Yeah. It was it was really fucking violent. It was, yeah, definitely. All the Looney Tunes stuff is very violent, and even there has been pretty racist yeah. episodes of that. Too, well, if you look it up, yeah, they've had the I've seen some like reruns of Looney Tunes, and they have cut those segments out pretty hard. You know, where it gets to be a little bit like. Where they have like a Asian guy, and it's like way over the top Asian Chinese stereotype dude with the gigantic teeth and the eyes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And everything like yeah. that. It's like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Oh, we need to do an episode about racism in. Yeah, that'd be good. In too. media too. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm just making a point that they were pretty violent, right? Yeah. And um, 
I guess that uh, in an intriguing um, stories, there you at least there's some crime happened, mm. which includes some sort of violence or threat of violence or something. Yeah, just saying that the media is, uh, you know, full full with violence. Yeah, true. And I mean, it's funny, like uh, cartoons, like He Man, yeah, GI Joe, uh, Ninja Turtles, Thundercats. Um, even I watched Ghostbusters, the the cartoon back in the day. It was one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, of the course, real Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, Transformers and whatever. And uh, like t- saying with um, specifically with like He Man, guy's got a giant sword. People have got these axes and crazy guns and things like that. And of course, all they do is punch each other. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and Thundercats as well. And but um, mask and. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like um, even you know there was this Rainbow Bright cartoon, and uh, there was some pretty dark stuff happening in there. If you want to go into it, you yeah. know. So it's, yeah, Care Bears as well. Care you know, Bears. There's kind of like slight, you know. There's a pretty maniacal villain and uh, yeah, and Smurfs. Smurfs yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Gargamel and all yeah, that. Gargamel. I know all it's about that. The best one in the Smurfs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, like. Uh, but yeah, does yeah. it affect you? Does it really? Does violence actually, uh, when you see it and watch it and consume it in in entertaining in entertainment form, will it affect you and turn you into a violent person? Well, will it? What do you think? Well, what do I, you actually think? I, my honest opinion is yeah. that's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Mm. And if if you are turn to do violent acts of course you can get ideas like well even the oceans 11 has like some you know maybe some hints how to break into some shit yeah i don't know how realistic it is i I believe it's not but anyway of course it can give you ideas how to do something Mm. but if it actually pushes you to do violent acts i i think you have something uh, wrong with the begin with you know Mm. yeah so uh that's that's my like a uh, short answer and my short opinion here. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about what about you? Yeah, I think that I mean it's a, I, we'll get into like our personal um I guess experiences, you know. I think that'll that'll tell a, at least a little bit more about, you know, that in part 2. Yeah. So stay tuned for that, but I think that um yeah, I mean, I don't see Unless you are somebody who needs that, like, uh, push over the edge, mm. you know, needs uh, some kind of reasoning to be violent, that you already are, but you just need that little extra thing. So in that way, if you're just a normal run-of-the-mill person, I don't think that consuming, you know, horrifying, murderous video games and Grand Theft Auto or Manhunt or, you know, these... these oh, Manhunt... Was yeah. excellent video game. This, this was one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, because I was scared the, sh- the sh- scared the shit out of me a few times. Scared in that game. the shizat out of you. Sure, yeah. Listen to shooting the shizat and the pod bean. Uh, but okay, uh, you need to leave me some money for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah. it was that game was so violent. Yeah, so violent. Brutally violent to the point that it I got think it, in some trouble too. It got a lot of trouble, banned in all over the place. I think Australia for yeah. sure was yeah. banned, and yeah. you know whatever. But um, I it didn't make me want to smash anybody. No, you know. So uh, so not mm. even not even remotely want to smash anybody. And to be honest with you, I'm I'm this person who loves pro wrestling, mm. and it's fake fighting. If anybody wants to be what? like. <laughs> You know, let the curtains the loose. The fuck were you saying? You know, predetermined. Uh, uh, it's a predetermined sport. But no. um <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> anyway, but it, it's love of my life for sure, yeah. right? But um, I can't watch like uh, UFC. I don't appreciate it because I don't see the point in two people like actually beating each other up. I'm, it's not entertaining. No. <laughs> I'm totally cool when it's... Because then again, it's like pro wrestling is not actually... Uh, it's like people, well, this is like, you know, th- we talked about this before, but they're telling a story using f- 
physical violence. Right. And uh, and if people think that that's actually a lot. I know a lot of people think that that's stupid. That oh, you know, you're just trying to whatever. And it's like no, they're telling a story using physical violence, and uh, when people actually mm. are out to hurt somebody to win. You know, when their intentions are, I gotta hurt that person more than they hurt me so I can win, and that's it. And they get their faces smashed in, and legit, you know, I d- I can't see joy in that. Yeah. So the core question is that: Is it important how the violence is shown or described? How mm. how how is it shown in the in the media? So usually, if we take an average action movie or yeah, what? The movie that consists violence or some sort of a plot with crime or or shit, you know. Yeah. And this is an over generalization. Do it. The there are good guys who are good. Mm. They have moral right, you know. They are on the good side of things, and then there are bad guys, you know. Yeah. And those bad guys are clearly bad. So it's black and white, mm. white and black. Yeah. And There is no question that uh, the bad guys are in the wrong. Mm. They do heinous things, you know. Yeah. And uh, by doing those things and how they are painted there, they are basically opening themselves there to be a subject of uh, rightful violence, mm. you know. Then the good comes, good guy comes in and uh beats the shit out of them or kills them murders them you know it's not a murder when the good guys does of course, it yeah. you know kills them and saves the day and uh the violence that the bad guys have done is horrific but when the good guys is doing it, it's a payback and yeah, you feel it's like it's saving r- something yeah, yeah it's saving something and you feel that he's on right there and do you think that this matters um uh, at all and does does it have some questionable morals of portraying the violence like that. Hmm. Uh, you don't usually see the effects on violence for the bad guy's side. You see them die, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, then they are they're laying there, they mm-hmm. are forgot. You don't see any cost of violence for them, you know, their families or whatever. They affect their funerals, uh, f- relatives, you know, mourning or... Yeah. But you see that perhaps on the, mm. you know the victim from the victims of their crimes yeah 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 uh i think that you know it's an interesting thing because like superhero movies right let's let's say avengers you know pretty violent mm. um yeah. even though sometimes sure. it's it's even done in a comedic way right sometimes there's a building that blows up behind you possibly filled with bad guys or civilians or whatever maybe they're all dead but it's just hey that you know did you what did you eat for dinner or something i don't know some joke there right and but then there are movies like um we were you were just talking about it before uh we started uh filming but um i spit on your grave yeah uh if anybody knows about this movie old time video nasty yeah And uh it's it's over the top. Um I haven't seen it actually, so I can't really comment on it, but I know the the idea. And there has been a few other movies that were I think it was an Italian director and I don't know the movie now. So Cannibal Holocaust. Mm, well I the the thing that I know the story is that uh it was filmed so in a such realistic way that like some guy's family was murdered in front of him. And uh something to do with, like, I think he, he was like a porn star. It was really brutal, you know, and... Not Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. And and it was <clears> this <throat> thing where um they were, like, forcing him to, to do, like, very smut-like porn stuff, you know. And anyway, it was really, like, it's just nuts. But anyway, people in that movie, the actors who died during the, like, in the movie... Characters. Yeah, the characters. Yeah. Uh, they, the the scenes were so brutal and so realistic that they actually were told by the director, like, don't go out of your house until the premiere. Don't don't answer your phone. You know, and people actually thought when they saw that movie that they killed those people on screen, and it was like legit. 
murder in the movie, like a smut smut film. Snuff, yeah. Snuff. Oh, yeah. what am I? Yeah, smut. Blah, blah, blah. Snuff. So it. Oh, okay. I I haven't haven't heard about this. I, I got a. Sounds like a fucked up movie. Yeah, I mean, uh, if somebody knows the the title of that, we're not. I just came off the top of my head now. So because Cannibal Holocaust look. director did that thing that the actors basically disappeared and it could and it he, could be he, the same thing. Maybe was, I'm mixing up the premise, yeah, but uh, uh, well. the whole idea is that people legit thought those people were dead. And the directors got in trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. and. Uh, But I think it's awesome. Yeah. Like, I, maybe I, I probably wouldn't, uh, don't, probably wouldn't have liked the movie so much. Probably would make me sick. But then again, that is total kayfabe. You know, that's Pro it. Just wrestling. adds this, <laughs> adds this extra layer. You know, that that uh, is is pretty amazing. But yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that you know, compare that to the Avengers type of violence. Quite quite a large spectrum of difference, right? So do you think it's uh, like, do you understand the argument that some people say or claim that it's immoral to you know advocate violence in such way because they basically are what's the term glorifying glorifying the violence of the good guys you know they are on the right they are avenging in the avengers yeah, yeah. and you know death wish the guy is murdering the bad guys who murder and raped his wife or killed their daughter or whatever. Yeah. You know, so is that a bad bad message? Huh. It's a it's a tough one because I think that these are emotions and and feelings that a lot of people have, you know? And if they're if they're able to see them in a in a film like lived out, some people that that's like That gives them some kind of closure for those feelings. Is that like too? Is people might people think that that's ridiculous? I don't know. No, But, I, you know, I if you you like you hate your boss, you know, or something, you know, I don't know if you do. But uh, <laughs> no, I love my boss. <laughs> well, I love mine too. But um, anyway, <laughs> so it's like, you know, if you have that like typical um, like let's say you know, from that movie The Office. Um, Not the office. Serious. Uh, is it the uh, horrible bosses? No. Um, the movie and the office work. What was that movie with the with the, um, the stapler? Office space. Come office on. Office space. Jeez. Get uh, real, man. <laughs> get fucking real. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, too many offices. But anyway, huh. you know that you hate your boss. You know you probably have this idea of man. I wish that guy would die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and it sounds like a brutal thing to say, but I know pe- people think that. Yeah. And I don't think that I'm the only one because I've I've heard other people, you know. But uh, some people don't like somebody so much that they have this feeling might be a, you know, a Luke Skywalker wanting to kill um, <laughs> um, Kylo Ren or um, what's his name Ben Solo. Uh, in, I don't recognize that movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? A fleeting feeling. But man, I wish that guy would get run over by a truck. Whatever. Oh, you're talking about Ryan Johnson? Sure. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, ooh. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying, and then, uh, and then you can go and watch a violent movie, mm. and you can see somebody get get their ass killed or something like that. Yeah. That might give you that, you know, kind of fulfillment. That ah, yeah, that whatever. That you had it. You could have a dream. You could have a dream at night and and see the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing where we were talking about with bands like Slipknot or Marilyn Manson or even heart like uh, N.W.A. and uh, These these groups that like were very angry, you know, uh, dead Kennedys and um, mm. uh, at least they're not used to be angry now. Yeah, now they, they love just loving. Yeah. They do. They love everybody. So yeah. Um, yeah. people equal love, I guess. But uh, <laughs> new shirt, um, TM. But uh, so yeah, I think kids used to go. I used to go to punk rock shows to just let it all out, you mm. know, and. Uh, And I don't think I was much angry about anything, but uh, you know. So I guess we don't have a clear opinion. Is it immoral or not? I don't. I just don't. I think it's not because I think people need that kind of expression, and I think that those things are real. So if those feelings are real, you know, and people have those feelings, and then when you see a end piece of entertainment, a piece of art, you know, I think that uh, it should be. F- you know, th- there's these rating systems, so. Hey, yeah. if you if you can't handle it, then don't go to don't see it. Yeah, uh, you know, and I and you th- as the Tarantino said, like uh, his movies, and I hope this is a direct quote that his movies he understands are not 
uh, everyone's cup of coffee. But then, if they're not, you should drink another fucking cup of coffee then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have because some he's tea. been... Yeah, have some tea because that might be more soothing to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like he he's actually been accused a lot of like excessive violence, un- needless violence, unnecessary violence in his yeah, movies. Yeah. And you know, I can talk about Tarantino movies the yeah, yeah. next part a lot, but I don't see it like that. Yeah, yeah. But And what do you think about the the question that I yeah. presented? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, For me, I see those movies differently. I don't see them as like a serious portrayal of how things are or how things should be. They are just like fantasies, like action movies and fantasy movies and these Marvel superhero movies and yeah. whatever. And they are like a fantasy in a way, like escapism. Yeah. I don't see any immoral things of them portraying violence as, you know, entertaining or rightful things. And then, you know, there are movies that are more uh, serious tone about, you know, war and consequences or crime and consequences or yeah. whatever. And they really show the violence as I would imagine it would happen. And it's not made as being entertaining part of the movie. Yeah. It's made to, you know wake you up or mm. you know show, th- show and I you the are, reality yeah and I respect those movies too and I enjoy a lot of them one of my all time favorite uh, I don't know if it's a realistic movie but more realistic take on the cop cop drama is this uh, movie called Narc mm. yeah. which is starring Ray Liotta and uh, don't not gonna wanna spoil it but it's It's like horrific, the violence there, and it's like really nihilistic yeah. take on the on the downside of life and the life of a policeman and and the crimes, mm. and it's not pretty sight. Uh, and then again, I can appreciate movie like Lethal Weapon, yeah. which has totally different take and tone. But that's what I'm saying with the Avengers versus yeah. I Spit on Your Grave, or even the Avengers versus the Evil Dead. Yeah, you know, or even the Avengers versus Deadpool. You know, getting even closer, but It the, there's violence. There's pretty heavy violence in both of them, but they are they are done in different ways for to serve a different purpose. Yeah. So I think that yeah, it's entertainment. And again, my my take uh, is that if people are predisposed, and I mean we were what was this uh, we were li- looking at earlier anyway. I have this Psychiatric Times article up. Violence in in the media. What effects on behavior? And it basically, I mean, in a in a nutshell, talks about that if somebody is has an aggressive personality, and they are exposed to aggressive themes, it could like help them to feed their aggression. You know. So they calm down. Well, that's there's that kind of idea that that. If you are really, really aggressive and you see something like super aggressive, it might counteract your aggression. So let me guess the non aggressive persons are feeling anxiety or Yeah, they get I guess stressed out. Yeah. So it's just about knowing who you are and I guess that's a pretty difficult thing to do. Uh these days at least. I guess it's always been difficult. But um you know, knowing what can you handle I know when we get into the next part two, which um, we'll wrap this up in a sec, but that um, when I was a kid, I had a pretty hard time, you know, in terms of this uh, violence and stuff uh, on in, on TV or movies and things. So, you know, if you want to know about that, <laughs> stay tuned to episode two, part two of our uh, violence in the media coverage. Yeah. And what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think <clears throat> that uh, violence in movies, media, like video games and those kind of things, are they going to actually make you more aggressive, more likely to commit crimes, or more likely to be violent? Uh, you know, let's hear what you guys got to say. Definitely give this video a like if you share that same feeling that you like it. And uh, comment, tell us again what you felt. And subscribe. 
please and thank you. Along with that, subscribe. Ring that bell!